welcome to Marissa's Kitchen. Today I'm going to tell you about a recent trip that I took to Dallas, Texas and I got to go to the Blue Butterfly Cafe. It was such a fun experience and I'm going to show you from that day and I'm also going to give you kind of like a little recap because I didn't film as much as I would have liked to when I was there because I was just so caught up in the moment. My friend Kelly and I ended up spending about four hours there. Maybe four and a half. I don't remember. Kelly, how many, how long were we there? I think it was four and a half hours. So maybe Kelly will comment in the comments below. It totally exceeded my expectations. The whole experience that I had dreamed of, of being able to walk into a restaurant and be able to order anything that is on plan, like it, anything on the menu there was on plan. So that was a dream come true. Also, the food was spectacular. And the whole thing, the whole time I was there was just really joy filled. I got to meet Corinne, one of the owners and have just a really sweet time chatting with her. And they are just so genuine. I told Anne Marie who works there and she's been a THMer for a while, a long time. And I said, you are living my dream job. Like if I lived in Dallas, I would totally get a job there once my kids are all in school. You can just tell that Anne Marie just truly loves what she does. She loves sharing um, THM with people that might stumble in and not know what it is and the joy that she gets from just rubbing shoulders with other THMers. We ended up getting there in time for breakfast, kind of like a late breakfast. I think we got there around 10 30 in the morning so we ordered some food and I'm gonna show you a little video of that now. Hi and welcome to Marissa's Kitchen where today I am doing something very exciting. I am not in Alaska. I am currently in Texas. I flew in last night and I met my friend Kelly here who convinced me to come on a women's conference and I'm very excited to be with her for that. We are headed to the Blue Butterfly Cafe. It's the Trim Healthy Mama Cafe. It's a franchise of Trim Healthy Mama's um, restaurant and store and so I am just so thrilled to be going there today with my friend. I will be giving you guys a little tour of the store and the restaurant. To say I'm excited is an understatement. My husband last night was like, I couldn't fall asleep so I was texting him and he's like, you need to get sleep. You're headed to your favorite place. <laughs> your favorite store and restaurant is a dream come true. All right, well, I will be seeing you guys in a bit. my husband because um had a little mishap uh my trimmy i le <laughs> my cup fell over because i was helping my friend navigate and i get to go in with a big wet spot on my pants thankfully not in a different you know not in a different area <laughs> all right let's go in we're here ready kelly ready all right here we are I'm excited. <laughs> got a blue door. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Hi. Oh. <gasps> it's a TH Emmer's dream come true. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. So my friend Kelly and I ordered. I got the breakfast sandwich with bacon. It smells amazing. I haven't had a bite yet. Oh my goodness, and my mouth is watering. And then I got the snickerdoodle brevet. Look how beautiful that is. And you can't really tell, but this is a really big mug. Yay, I'm in my happy place. I can't believe I'm here. It's even better than I imagined. All right, Kelly, what'd you get? Mocha Brave with whip. Yum. And you got the quiche and then we decided to split. Yep. Can I turn it so I can oh, yeah. show the quiche? Yum. We are both raving over the breakfast sandwich. Oh my word, it's so good. The coffee looks amazing. <laughs> Best Brave ever. 
Well, I thought about after breakfast ordering like one of every sipper and Anne Marie was so sweet. She ended up bringing us out a flight of little tiny tastes of all the sippers. So we had to try all the sippers. I don't think that's a normal thing that they do. So don't like walk into the store and ask to try the flight. If that happens, I'm sorry, Anne Marie. <laughs> that was such a treat to get to try all the sippers. And, and then for lunch, I was just so absorbed in, in chatting and I made a new friend. Kel Kelly and I made a new friend. Her name is Cindy. And this was probably one of the highlights for me. So I, <laughs> I, if you've watched my channel for some time, you know that I don't really ever go to Texas, like ever. Going there, I had kind of envisioned letting people know exactly when I would be there in case anybody wanted to do like a meetup. But I, I kind of chickened out and thought, I'm not sure that anybody would want to take the time to drive to the Blue Butterfly Cafe to meet me. I let on on my Facebook page that I was coming, but I didn't really give details or any sort of an invitation. Maybe if I were to go again, if there was enough interest, like comment below if you if you'd be interested in seeing me next next time I come to Dallas, Texas, which I don't know, I have a new friend Cindy there, so maybe maybe my friend Kelly and I will end up going again. And this conference that we went to if that's in Dallas, then we would definitely be coming again. But I guess I didn't know if there would be enough interest and I just didn't want to be embarrassed if nobody would end up coming to the cafe to see me. <laughs> so I didn't really make a big deal of it. So a big highlight for me, and Cindy, if you're watching this, you didn't know this part. I'm on my phone and I remembered that Allison, um, I had asked her if she wanted anything from the store. So I ended up calling her and I was showing her all the baked goods and I was showing her the stuff and I, she ended up buying some of the curriculum and a couple other things that were on sale. And in the meantime, um, Kelly noticed that there was this lady who was talking to the Anne Marie at the, at the counter and said, is that, is that, and she's like, yeah, Marissa from, or Marissa from Marissa's kitchen. And she's, anyway, Cindy ended up being the sweetest person and she says she's watched my videos and we invited her, Kelly and I invited her to sit and have lunch with us and so we had a chance to hear her THM story and more of her life story and that was a huge highlight for me. So Cindy, you have no idea how much that blessed me. It was a really special thing for me. We ran out of time because I was so like just taking everything in and Kelly's like, you know, it's like 10 minutes to two and you haven't ordered lunch. Mm -hmm. So so I think breakfast just really filled me up. So I ended up going up to the counter. I ordered lunch. I ordered way too much food. And if you do their halvesies, you can do like two different entrees and it's like a little bit of a smaller amount. It is huge. It is, I mean, halvesies, but they're very generous. Like it's more than half, I think. I think it, for what you pay, you get a lot. And... I couldn't even finish more than half of it. So I ended up boxing up some of it to take home. And I did try the snatch em up chicken tenders was my lunch um, with some with a side salad and then half of a pizza. Yeah, that's a lot of food. <laughs> and I got a magic salted caramel magic cupcake. That's probably not the name of it. I have never made those, so I didn't know what to expect. And I didn't even touch my dessert. And then I got a mon monarch tea. It was just like in heaven to walk up to that counter and see all these d lovely desserts and to know that you could order any of them. Something about that, I think for 10 years doing Trim Healthy Mama and not having had that experience ever, it was just such a sweet moment for me. I think my husband was a little like having a shock over how much I spent there, <laughs> but, but um, I was proud of myself. The treats that I bought, I spent about $74. I spent $24 on treats of like stuff that I was going to freeze or eat for the weekend and bring home. So I felt like I exhibited some self-control and I also didn't buy all the things that I wanted to buy because we were at the end of a month in our budget. And so I, I did demonstrate some self-control, even if my husband might think otherwise, but.
One of the other cool things is that they have sale items at the store that aren't necessarily sale items online for THM. So that was, we stumbled into a really great sale on the no carb easy bread was like marked down to a dollar 75 or a dollar 50 or dollar 25. Anyway, steeply discounted. There were some extracts really discounted, some crackers and stuff. And so I brought some of that home. I was really excited to try the hand lotion, the very, very hand lotion. It was a little greasier on my hands. Like I felt like I needed to wipe it off in order just to go about my business. So I didn't end up buying the very, very hand lotion, but I'm really picky when it comes to lotions. The smell was amazing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my, my videos and coming along with me to Dallas to visit the store. If you have visited the store, I would love to hear what you ordered or what was um, one of the most fun things for you about visiting the store. All right, guys, I will see you next time. And I am trying to get videos out a little bit more frequently. So do check back on my channel and, um, and I will see you next time.